Do we want to go with starts with two bees, all crops grow faster? Sure, let's give lavender a shot. Let's go back up to year seven. Oh gosh, I've never beaten year eight. Oh, is today the day we do it? Maybe. Maybe, especially with these new perks. The one issue is weapons might not be quite as good as they used to be, but otherwise, I don't know, it'll be fine. So fighting stat up and a rake. Not bad. All right, so we're gonna... I have three bees, in fact. So I'm gonna... Oh, wow. Okay, so we actually have picked up a couple of fighting stats. My damage has gone up by three, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's big. Because that is actually mulching these guys maybe one or two hits faster which goes a really long way. Um, Adam Cormory? No, I'll have tons of seeds. So we wanna just kind of mulch through as many as we can. You know, I knew I was gonna like this game a lot back when I, you know, first tried it at PAX years ago, kind of hidden away in some like unseen corner of the convention. Um, I never realized I would like it this much. It's one of those games that it's that is truly aged like a fine Gouda. Where, you know, kind of the longer you leave it, the better it gets. And I mean part of it is because it's still developing, but isn't that, you know, kind of how uh aging cheese works after all? Ah, would have been nice to actually boost those, but it's fine. Right, give me the extra time. I wanna see if I can finish uh two whole sides in one day. That would be That'd be primo. These these extra starting stats go a very long way, potentially. Okay, there we go. But no, every update for this game has, like, drastically improved my opinion of it. Which is impressive, because it was already, like, I already had a uh, pretty high opinion of it overall. Uh, I just thought it was maybe a little too hectic for me. I think it maybe also is one of those that, like, you really... Oh, that's the Broken Car Gang. We don't care about them. They care about us. I'm just gonna run south. Until they can't get at me anymore. Ooh. Yeah, Broken Car Gang is aggrieved and needs to die. Do I have my tractor? Not even close. Damn. I was... I really gotta be careful about pissing them off. Because as far as I know, they just follow me. Flowers grow on soil instead of weeds? Yeah. I mean, this one is great for just free money. Because to some degree, that means that uh, I don't need to farm for the first couple days and I'll still make a profit. I'll need to swing by my my farm on the way, but otherwise we'll be good. Oh boy, oh boy. Wait, no, damn it. Okay, good. I can sneak back under there. There we go. Got him. All we have left are these guys. Tractor is ready. Would have been nice to get the uh, the tractor during that specific fight, but whatever. I'll take it. I don't think we even have much left. Maybe a camp? Oh, good timing. Boy, this is, this is just working out. There we go. And a dove coat. Okay. So far, so good. Too many scorpions here. Need to chill out. There we go. There we that small damage up goes a long way. Cut an additional weed or farming stat up by two. Uh, I'm gonna go for the farming stat up. Cutting additional weeds sounds like it'd be nice but I do not know if it'll help me. So, any card builder top 10 list? Uh, so, right. I should probably, holy shit. Uh, I should probably talk about this. So I, I'm working on video essays, have been trying to get those off the ground for a while. Um, and uh, so one of the ones I'm working on is deck builder roguelikes uh, right now, actually. Like that's, that's the next one. Um, It'll be out in a couple of days. Though, I I guess, as far as YouTube is concerned, like, this video isn't going out until, like, January, so who knows. Um, I'm actually gonna hit this now. Because that should till all the soil. Oh, 
Oh, that's the broken card gang. We don't care too much. I don't see anything here. Okay, there's something in the top left. Uh, but so yeah, uh, in fact, I will be doing exactly that. And I wouldn't have been able to afford these anyway. Nothing else for it. Let's just go back out there. Okay, so now that this is clear, um, yeah, you know what, in this case, do I have a bunch of pickaxes? Let's just get them down. We'll do a little bit of farming here, because I want to be able to afford a, a good gun before the boss shows up. Yeah, let's use all of our pickaxes while we've got them. And then pop this, pop this, pop this. Oh, I could have done that better. I could have actually gotten a bunch of big potatoes there. Oh well. Uh, let's see, any recommended deck builder roguelikes at the moment? Gosh, um, if you haven't played Vault of the Void, that's actually the number one one that I continuously will recommend, as it is, uh, it is genuinely, like, really good and 100% underrated. Its biggest issue is it doesn't really break too far from the formula, and so I can see a lot of people just not being interested in it. Um, what else is there? What do I have on my list? I The other one would be, it's not a deck builder, but I 100% will always recommend uh, Ring of Pain. It's card-based, it's just not a deck builder. <laughs> and even card-based is a bit of a stretch. It's funky, but I love it. The first video probably isn't going to have a whole lot of immediately, like, new games that you've never heard of. Mainly just because I'm trying to go for, like, the best. But I'm planning on doing more than one. So we'll get to some of the more niche topics. <laughs> uh, niche topics? Ni niche roguelikes along the way. Because uh, I know there's a couple I've had my eye on, but just haven't spent some time on? I probably should have done so today, but I just, I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to play more Atomic Crops. Maybe we'll switch after a certain point. Uh, fighting stat or gain two drones? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go for the drones. They're better. Uh, let's see. Also, thank you, Lude Mott, for the six-month resub. Seems like it was the end of the sub-month, and now a new month resub time. Keep up the good content. Well, thank you. Also, hope you're all well. I'm currently thinking about yesterday's stream VOD. The doopy bees poop comment is stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head. I, it, it even stuck into my dream last night. Trying, trying to think about like bees pooping. Do they poop out the stinger? Do they like puke? I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to know, but I want to know. Okay, so we definitively have enough money that I can grab. Ah. Uh, Grab some stuff. This is good. Okay. Nothing fancy out of this. Grab those. Okay, so we didn't exactly clear uh, two sides out in one day. But then again, we're playing on a harder, harder season. Hard season? Ascension level? Year. That's what it is. Oh, they're really making me work for this one. Oh, shoot. They are actually nibbling on my crops. I didn't even think about that. All right, there we go. We're done. Hey, what crops? I don't have any. Ask my grandfather next time I see him. He's a beekeeper. Do you vaguely remember him telling a story about bee poo one day? What? How would you even have stories about bee poo? Now I need to know. Fertile eggs. Eggs sometimes hatch. All right, so we need some chickens. Now we can go back to my farm, which is, I'm sure, absolutely swimming in in bundits. Ow! Literally walked right into that one. All right, come for me, Cretans. Whew! I forgot how dicey. Uh, the seventh year gets. Why the hell did I think doing a dandelion run would be a good idea here? Yeah, I did get stuff out of the... perfect. Wow, we actually made a lot from that. B 
Bee vomit is just honey, though. So is bee poop just bee vomit, and therefore bee poop honey? Maybe. I, I don't know. Grab the leech. Leech is good. Grab two of these. And yeah, no special features on this one. And we can't do anything with either of these. Uh, let's see. Hope you don't mind me having you open while I play Farming Sim 22. I am 100% uh, a... Uh, I am background noise for a lot of people, I think. And I'm pretty fine with that, honestly. Here's the sad thing. At this season, it's actually better for me to just... Um, not even farm to some degree. I mean, it, it is 100% worth me farming. It's just, uh... Sometimes it's actually better to just kind of peace out, go fight. I guess I should have, uh... I should have done the other earthquake. Eh, it's fine. It can confirm Wander is just background noise while I play Final Fantasy XIV. It's... Totally acceptable. I, uh, I heard a long time ago that I was, like, one of the number one YouTubers for just, uh, white noise in the background for people trying to sleep, even. Or maybe it was streamers. I forget. It doesn't really matter. It's kind of the same thing across the board. Um, but that one stuck with me as well. And, frankly, I'm pretty fine with it. I probably really should have actually just gone for the earthquake. The sound effect on the leech is magic. Okay, Dizzy Bird needs to not be here. Alright, let's go here. You have a very calming voice. I, I think about that sometimes. Uh, the... You know, I will, I will... I will watch other YouTubers or streamers or something. And... Kind of come to the conclusion that, like, boy, I sound very even keel. Maybe too even keel. And sometimes that'll, like, stick in my head as, like, uh, maybe I should be, like, more excitable or something. And then I think about it for a while and I'm like, why? You know, this this is what I sound like. This is me normally. Oh, I'm gonna go for the Matrosha turret. And then we need to find a teleporter out of here because I need to go do some farm work. Whew! Uh, okay, it's right over here. Okay. I guess I should be spreading these out. It, even getting that initial... Oh! I forgot it was boss time. Shoot. That's fine. Okay, we've got our big crops. I want to leave just like one or two mooks left. There we go. Oh gosh, he puts out even more now. That poor corn. Yeah, that said, I have to leave that corn there as a bit of a, a sacrificial lamb. Otherwise, the uh, the munch beasts are going to get feisty. Oh, there they come. Alright, whatever, we'll just clear the land. Oh, did that kill all the munch beasts? No, they just lost interest. That's the answer. Oh, it's okay. I love this game. It's so good. Oh, I probably should have planted some roses at some point in here. Maybe I... Maybe I still can. I've got enough bees that some of them might actually be done growing. There we go. We also have the heartbeats. Yeah, let's... Just get a bunch of these down. There we go. Yeah, because the boss the boss fight is well over and done with. Now it's just a matter of cleanup? Eh, kind of. These do poo, but not in hive. But is it like is it honey? I don't I don't know. Oh, did this game get really loud? Did it reset my sound settings again? No, it didn't. It's just loud. Why has nobody complained about this to me? Maybe they do. How much does a Super Rose give? Five.
Come on, Rose. Grow. Grow, damn you. Got it. Okay, we got at least one. That gives me some options. We've got some stuff. I don't care for the Catling gun. Let's grab the Biodegrader. There's also a Blood Rain, but I don't care. Ooh, Triple Shot and Fire. Dig it. Chickens and turkeys have a 50% chance to turn weeds into flowers. That's actually pretty good. Let's grab that one. Hey, and thank you, Dragon Venom, for the 32-month resub. Thank you. Ooh. All right, Heartbeat Monitor. It's okay. The Generator Extra Tractor Charge, which is really good. And another Drone. And then a bunch of Cornucopias. And a Chicken. Not bad. Do we want to continue with the Eater? Yeah, probably. Do we gamble? No. I think we want to save our, our Dosh. Because I want to farm some stats via cycling weapons, if I can. Right, let's grab another couple of these. I said I wanted to cycle weapons, but this might be more practical. We will see. <sighs> A lot of blood rain. Don't need that as much. Alright, let's shoot. Wait, no, I have just enough to get a big heartbeat down. I did not intend to plant that, but hey, here we are. Okay, so here's the other question. Um, where do we want to get these? Unfortunately, it's really hard to farm on these later seasons. These moles really do not want to give me peace of mind or just peace at all. Okay, so I'm going to get a peach seed down here. Because while I have the trees... I think it is better. Ow, damn it. I'm just trying to lay out my farm here. Please chill. Okay, get that. Alright, we get the date trees here. Boy, I'm gonna run out of time, aren't I? Okay. And then last thing. Turrets. As I have quite a number of them. Get those down. I'm just gonna put the turret down. What? No, damn it. There we go. Now I've got a ton of turrets. Everything else is good. With my remaining 30 seconds, let's get out here and do some stuff. Uh, getting the initial farming done is not the worst idea. Okay, got him, got him. Sunflower. We do have to deal with the devil den. Unless this is something new. It could be. Nope. Okay, crops don't need water, but your farm attracts moles and they appear at night. Or lose all max heartbeats except for one. Gain four heartbeat seeds for each max heartbeat lost. Okay. Now I gotta go back. Without dying. And then we've gotta plant all of these heartbeat seeds. Oh, nice part is because I've got the heartbeat monitor, all of my drones are hella energized. Okay, there's 3 HP right off the bat. There's some more right off the bat.
Okay. Got to make sure it doesn't screw me. Okay. Last heartbeat. Let's just shred these guys for a smidge. It's not enough. Uh, you know what? It's fine. There we go. Got it. I'll have to work on the rest of this later. Gosh, this, this gun's got some chops. Alright. Max HP is going great. And honestly, I'm feeling reasonably confident that I can survive. Apple tree. So those, that's my peach tree. This is this. Do I have one? No. Um. I guess it's morning. I guess I'm not going to do anything else. No, I don't, I don't want to farm anything. Yeah, we don't have any fertilizer. I'll work on it. We're good. Whoa, and thank you, Sebastian Armoon, for the 1500 bits for the host for Christmas. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Did I miss anybody else? Nope, I haven't. All right. Well, we get another biodegrader. Oh, but it's way too expensive. Oh, but I definitely want turret shocks. Don't want that, though. I think we're good. I think we've got everything we could possibly need. My HP is back up and in a really solid spot, and I've still got nine more heartbeat seeds. I just need a lot more fertilizer to really get it going. There's some things I could do, but I think it's better that I actually clear some sides out. Whew. Give him the blaster rooney and let's get up here. This is a good gun. Okay, so we want to go here. I'm just going to eat these guys. Because that snowman is nothing short of a giant pain in the butt. I guess I should probably be shooting him. Do we get another turret or do we get another chicken? Uh, let's get more turrets. Wow. Shredded. Resilience. Crops spread onto hard crust. Neat. Hey, and thank you the tea pirate for the three month resub. As long as I've got the uh, the full salvo going, this cannon will just delete foes. Grab chicken. Okay, still good. Apparently cleared this one out. Anything else here? So you always got to check. Because you never know. Okay, now I think we're good. Now I think we've cleared everything out. We got the golden pupa. And we've still got a minute. There's a hole right above me. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, we can gain quite a lot of money just by returning to the farm on the regular. Here. I'm gonna... Plunk another turret down. Let's see, because yeah, I don't have enough for anything. Perfect. Grab that, grab the pupil already, grab cow. I have enough turrets. That I almost wonder if I'd be safe. Uh, I'd like more pigs. However, the amount of turrets that I'm currently packing is monstrous. Okay, water faster. Water faster. Okay, so we do have the munchy moon. We've got him. Okay. Shit. I'm not actually fast enough for this. Okay. I was just trying to find an exit, and he's like, go back! And I'm like, no. Alright, so what do we do now? Um, I guess let's get our rose down. And I should remember to actually hit these balloons. Unfortunately, they're not the best for what I'm trying to do here.
Because they don't quite have the range. There we go. But it does give me a lot of goodies. I'm still curious about killing... Killing that moon beast that comes munching after me. Like, that's got to be a thing that can be done. Somebody said the, the Megaton launcher has the capability. The game never ceases to confuse me. It's great. Uh, it's It always keeps me on the back foot. Which most most of the time when a game does that to me, I'm I'm very uncomfortable with it. But in this one, it keeps it fresh and interesting for so much longer. Even if I'm largely doing the same thing, it it just does not let up. And I kind of really dig that because most roguelikes have downtime. Like you can you can just kind of chill if you're not feeling it. But in this one, it's just like, go hard all the time. Okay. Now, if you're wondering about what I'm doing, I like putting my turrets very far out. Because if I put them very far out, then they can just shred the enemies that usually don't spawn around my, um, my base. So, spud rifle. That's a good spud, spud rifle. Sure. Zap, rate of fire, and damage. Good stuff. Good stuff. Tilt soil lasts longer. Ah, uh, do we just... Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. I don't think I've ever gotten married that fast. <laughs> I can just hear Shell stop. <laughs> oh, she wasn't paying attention. Uh, so do guns, uh, still break? No, they don't. So, guns now, uh, don't break anymore. Uh, now they are... Let's see. Till the land. Okay, we just want to get rid of a bunch of these real quick. Okay, let's just do that. Perfect. Uh, so guns no longer break. What they do instead is... Uh, let's see. We did find a thing. Yeah, we did. Is there anything else that I can... No. Uh, what they do instead is guns are... So guns are permanent, but they give you stat bonuses. Uh, every time you buy a gun, it gives you uh, more stats. Which means to some degree what you want to do is buy as many guns as you can, as long as you're not picking up uh, weapons that you do not want. Ooh. That's a, that's a good choice. Pickaxes or weeds are harvestable. Vinaigrette. Perfect. Let's see. Checked, and this is on Switch 2. Uh, might get it. It looks fun. It's great. This this game is legitimately the roguelike that keeps on giving. It came out in what early access last year and has been getting like super consistent updates uh, ever since. But they keep adding more and more to it, and like admittedly, this is the paid DLC that I'm playing now, which drastically changes a fair bit. But at the same time, um, I don't think I don't think that's on the Switch yet. But it'll be coming soon enough, and when it does, it's worth it. It's like five bucks too. That was the wild part seeing this DLC pop up, and it's like, yeah, it's it's just five. It's five bucks. Okay, cat is dead. Just keep going for earthquake. The more land we have, the more flowers we can grow. The more flowers we can grow, the more money we just kind of passively make. It's lovely. This is good. This is a good gun. Golden golden goose. I don't think I've ever killed the golden goose before. It gave me a pair of banana seeds, which is actually kind of big. 
Is there anything else? There's the cat. Is it boss fight time already? I'm just gonna look around for a bit. See if I've missed anything. I have. Would that I had just a bit more time. Oh, on the plus side, the unidentified flying buddy is uh, dead almost immediately. This is a great run. Let's see, what do we want to do now? I could plant stuff. Sure. I'll plant stuff and specifically have it ready for next season. Do we even do we even care about that sort of stuff? Or do I just kind of plant stuff anyway and just harvest it for the now? I think I might want to just harvest for the now. You know, presuming I can get enough. Okay, just enough turnip seeds. One here. Yeah, let's just get these out. Should probably plant the trees. Okay, chili. There we go. You know, the interesting thing is playing this really makes me wonder if I should actually. Oh, hey, free chicken. Uh, I feel like I should go back and play Dead Cells again at some point. Uh, that might come off as a bit of a non sequitur. Uh, I only have... Well, no, I have three banana seeds. So we might actually want to hit the jungle early, if I can. Uh, but I think I might want to give Dead Cells another shot someday. Because uh, I never got into it. I always found it to be just a little too punishing. But I went into that game very much with this kind of feeling of, like... You know, this is all wrong and I don't like it. But I think... I, I'm coming around on a number of older games that I didn't like, and it's like, maybe maybe I really was the one that was wrong. Ah, uh, 3 plus biodegrader? Yeah. Faster reload, fire and triple shot. Oh, that's gonna mulch. Eggs contain seeds. Old weeds become flowers. But I don't have enough ro roses. Yeah, I know Dead Cells is still getting updates, too. I know uh, my buddy V has been I mean that is that is his like main game. Uh, let's see. Get the earthquake. Sure. I don't know about the blood monsoon. Maybe. Do we want to grab the whacker tractor instead? It's tempting, but we need fertilizer. I'll wait until the end of this season. Maybe? Maybe. Oh the DLC is already out on the switch? Or no, the game is out on the Switch. Just bought it. It has a 60% discount right now. Oh, sweet. Oh, I see. No, it's the DLC. DLC isn't out yet. Hopefully it'll come soon, though. Like, this, this game's real good. Do I want to pick this up for some extra seeds, maybe? Uh, can we currently have one or two tractors? I think we can only have one. It's tempting to pick up the Whacker tractor. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's... The chipper tractor is good, but the whacker tractor is, like, truly useful. Sometimes I can have two, but no, I can have one with multiple charges. Okay. So if I can almost get the mega banana seed. Or the mega banana tree. I think let's just run south and see what I can do. Yeah, there is an upgrade that lets you get an extra slot for a tractor. But I most assuredly do not have that. Oh, right. Yeah, we wanted to go down here anyway, because we we had missed one camp kind of right around here. Let's grab another chicken. I don't think you can get chicken turrets, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, we get the pupa already, which is good. Psychoactive weeds. Whoop. 
Something got hella pissed off. Must have been those guys on proximity. Okay. Let's grab the psychoactive weeds. I think we have access to this too. Oh, uh, do I want to get the hog? Yeah, I've got enough turrets at this point. I'm just blasting my way into all sorts of enemy camps. Okay. Go down here. Wow, they really did want to chase me. Oh! Almost missed some of those. All right. Let's see if I can blast the cat before the cat becomes a problem. Yes! All right, another hog. There we go. Because, yeah, if you can, if you can delete the cat... If you can delete the cat, it won't chase you. Ooh, that's a whole crop of farm animals. Because I find the cat is the most annoying, because it's the one that I can't just immediately... I mean, it can dodge it. It's just not the same. Go plastic bucket so my cows are faster. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too hard about protecting my crops at the moment. I'm in a good spot. I have a lot of turrets. Okay, let's get the fight stats up. Farm stats would be nice. But it's kind of low priority here. Alright. Cat's dead. Alright, there we go. Ow! I didn't even notice that remaining one. It's fine. There we go. Please burn. There we go. We're good, and we get cleats. Till soil just by walking on it. Okay. Oh, something is munching. Shoot. All right, let's get up here, grab the dove coat. Give me some... Oh, no, that's not some extra time. Okay. Grab all of these. We almost cleared the jungle. But not fully. Whew. Thank you, turrets. For being champions. Okay. Uh, well, seeing as I'm here, I'd like to do more. But I think we want to start getting our roses down. Because I should have more than enough general resources. Oh, right. This is the other thing I should do. Okay, I think I've more or less got all of it. I wonder, it's been a while since I last caught a stream. Welcome back. How you doing? God, I have a menagerie. It's amazing. Uh, let's buy, uh, buy all the bridge materials we can. How come Atomic Craps only has a Metacritic score of 67? Early access probably harmed it a little bit. Eh, screw it. I don't have anything better to do. Okay, is everything about as boost as it, as it can get? Yes. And yeah, this was the right call. Sometimes I can even get tree seeds off of it. I can, and I think I did. Only immediate problem is I need some banana. I need some banana land. Uh, I'm just gonna let this grow for a bit. Yes. It's fine. We've got more heartbeats than we know what to do with. Taking damage is mostly a problem if you're the crow. If you're not the crow, then maybe less of a problem. Okay, 
grab those. I don't think there's anything else in the top right. No. A devil deal sure was good. I have been very lucky today. As far as like coming back and just doing a, a couple more runs of this, it has been nothing short of incredible. Okay, I think we go back now. Okay. Now, I've got all the bananas I want. Let's just probably head out here. Because we want to open up this side. Because I got plenty of time. But yeah, I, I think early access did it in. This is kind of the classic... Oh, more mushrooms. Damn, more mushrooms. I think this is a classic example where the early access launch probably didn't... Uh, uh, didn't quite hit. Uh, you know, it was just maybe a little too early. Um, and then I know it was an Epic Epic Game Store exclusive for a little while. Uh, which... You know, to some degree, that's not a great place to be sometimes. I I hate to say that the platform is cursed, but there is, there is enough, like, community ill will towards it. Towards that platform that sometimes releasing your game on the EGS uh, really can just cook it. And things will never recover. Um, and maybe it's okay, but like I know for Ashen, for example, I, like I really liked Ashen. I thought it was a really good game. But it was kind of one of those that it didn't, uh, when it finally came out on other platforms, I don't think people really had that like, that base feeling of like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, Ashen, Ashen's finally on other platforms. It's more just like, oh, it's this game. Um, and that I think being a, uh, a storefront exclusive worked out for it. That it might have made more money as a result. Uh, let's see, reduce enemy bullet speeds. Yeah. I gotta grab that. But that kind of intrinsic community ill will towards it. Uh... I think that might actually be the first time I've ever gotten hit by the helicopter. Uh. Okay, I don't actually want to go down yet. I really need to use some of those heartbeats and I gotta be better about dodging. And so, like I should say, there are a number of things to actually like about the EGS. Namely, uh, that they do give a much better cut to developers and are willing to help fund games. Uh, but at the same time, I, I don't know. Don't know if it's enough. I think for a lot of people it's not. The free games kind of make up for it. Uh, let's see. With the extra seeds. Neither of those are particularly helpful, to be honest, but still. Yeah, the free games too, which I know for a lot of people is kind of big. I think in and of itself, that's actually like a really big perk for a lot of folks. Uh, you know, just being able to be handed, uh, you know, a bunch of truly fantastic games uh, for free on the regular. There's a lot of games that might have never gotten the exposure that they get without that kind of deal, but at the same time, it's, I don't know. I mean, it's fantastic. I think it's great. It really reminds me of, like, what Humble Bundle was years ago. Uh, especially back when I was, you know, a poor college student and had nothing more, and then H Humble Bundle is just like, hey, what if you just, what if we just gave you every, uh, like, every indie game that's been kind of on your radar for a little while? Did I get everything? I think I did. Uh, let's see. Still don't have enough to buy. I could get the scythe. But the scythe would, would actually be a problem. Let's just grab the hog. I have a lot of roses. I don't think I want to touch either of those. If we see uh, polyamory go by, then we'll grab it. Alright, how are we looking? Damn good. And we're still in fall.
I'm just gonna boost all of these. Might as well water them. And use some of my truly ridiculous amounts of fertilizer here. Make gob tons of money. There we go. Which direction are we going? Probably summer. Oh right, I was gonna get my mega trees down. I should probably do that. Let's see, do I have enough space? If these turnips go away, I will. A lot of these resources go away. Otherwise, we could just go on an adventure. Let's just slap it there. Another turret. More turrets in good spots. Let's, um... Let's go adventuring. I've got plenty of time. I've only got two regions left, and... Oh, right, we're about to go on an adventure. Shape of your farm hurts me. It's not supposed to be organized. It's supposed to be tactical. All right. Uh, if that comes off as kind of weird, uh, effectively, part of the reason why I have these, like, really long, stretchy bits that go out is that's where I put turrets. Um... Uh, Get a grass-fed cow. I don't think we have the cow turrets. But I don't think we need them either. There we go. Early to rose or early to rose. That was close. This is going to get run over by the Beesons. Ow! Uh, speaking of getting run over, I really should probably... Oh, hello. Hi, that's big. Okay. I got enough time. Let's just go back. Grabbed a lot of these. Because I don't think the boss has gotten to me yet. There it is. Alright, this farm was supposed to be mine. It was yours. Okay. But yeah, we need some HP. Oh, another chicken. Oops. I'm gonna run afoul of that. Heal you. Where's old McDonald? Got another chicken. I'm back here. I need to mulch your face with fire. Boy, they get tough. Ah. Damn it. It's fine. I got plenty of HP. Let's just send that out. We got plenty of time. Okay, where are you, stinkums? There he goes. An earthquake scroll, cornucopias. Really wish cornucopias would actually get picked up. That's fine. Alright, let's get another heartbeat seed down. And then roses. Okay. Got those down. Now it's time for b the big banana. If I can keep shit off of me long enough to actually plant it. Alright. Uh, let's see. How much do I have? I think I'll just pick up this turret. These turrets? HP. Here we go. This is the spot. Oh. 
This wasn't ready. It's fine. We'll get it. Okay. Do we want to get a shallot gun? Either of these? Not really, no. They're at, they're very subpar compared to what I'm looking for. Uh, roach killer or no. Guess I'll grab both of those. Hey, thank you, Ben Murphy, for the 500 bits. Born Tomacrops must be your birthday. Merry Birthmas. Alright, another turkey, bunch of cornucopias, another cow. Uh, let's grab all of those. Go nuts. Alright, so we need one one bridge bridge part. I think we're good. I'll buy several just in case. In case I somehow miscounted or missed something terribly important. Would it be possible to test if the extra surface area uh, from the pigs makes... Oh, pigs are more... Earthquakes more effective. I don't know, actually. Maybe? Okay, so we're still on bananas. And then I want to get my turrets down. Okay, and these are apple trees. Which I doubt I'm going to get enough seeds for, but you never know. Alright, get this. And the main reason why I like to extend so much is this way I can put turrets, like, way far out. Usually where the bunnies are hiding. And that means I can just kind of abuse them. dig all of these kind of passive income sources that you build up to with a good run. Right. I should probably go back here and actually pick things up. Thank you, Rake. Did we get another banana seed? I think we did. Okay, so we were going we were going out here. Okay, spread energy. Sure. Because the other one isn't even that helpful. There we go. Another dove coat. Pick up the earthquake, send off the storm cloud. I don't really feel like I'd need to do any immediate farming here. Oh. Well. A second golden goose in one run. I'd say what are the chances, but actually, yeah, what are the chances? How does that happen? I, I don't know what determines golden goose spawn chances, to be honest. Grab another one of those. We are going to have a very big farm filled with nothing but flowers. And yeah, I... I firmly believe that this is one of the best game guns in the game. It just absolutely shreds. Okay. They're gone. Get some more damage up because... Make me ridiculous. Alright, I think I've gotten everything. There might be some? Oh, I clicked out of the game for a second. One of its biggest strengths, I mean, apart from the AoE and the massive damage, uh, having the damage over time effect uh, really clears out a lot of those small enemies that are kind of hard to deal with sometimes. Stats up. You know, the little flyers, the bees and whatnot. The guys that I hate dealing with. Boy, my chickies have been busy. Oh, I like it a bigger banana. That is good stuff right there. Let's see, just notice your health. I think they stole all the luck from yesterday. I mean, the main main reason um, why that uh, it might feel that way is I think the crow is inherently... I'm not going to say a bad character, but I don't think the crow... Uh, is that great. He's got so many good ideas to him, but he's not balanced well. 
Uh, the big issue boils down to mostly... Oh, shit. Um, yeah, let's just pick this one up. I can just get a big peach tree. I know we got some peaches right here, but I'm using that land. Too many snipers. Please chill. I got shit I need to plant. Turrets and whatnot. Alright. Nope. Let's not get it off center. Oh, that'd be bad. But yeah, the big the big issue with the uh the crow for the most part, as far as I'm concerned, is that the uh The crow doesn't get heartbeats. Uh and instead has the oregano, but oregano isn't actually that good. Uh if it was far more easy to get like high high health off of oregano, I think it'd be super worth it. But as it stands, you don't, and so it's not actually that good. But you're probably also right, this run has stinky luck. Okay, I don't know. Let's just start planting some aloe. Oh. I missed. Oh well. You know it's a good run when you're squandering golden seeds and you don't even feel an ounce of regret. There we go. So what's the oregano do? So if you're playing as the crow... Ooh. Uh. We still got some days. I'm only going to be able to buy one more gun. Let's grab another hog. Uh, let's see, crops grow faster at night? Yes. Blocks bullets. I don't think I want that one. There we go. Look at all the bees. Look at all the everything. I am running a zoo. This isn't even this isn't even a farming game. At this point. Um shit. I guess I'll just pop that. And I got two days to clear out the north, so I can really take my time with it if I need to. Okay, I am almost out of fertilizer though. That's fine. Works out great for me. Right, let's go north. Uh, it's got to be straight up. What the hell? Three golden geese! Okay, no, you're right. This run 100% stole all of my luck from yesterday. I can think of no other explanation. Okay. I'm just going to send that off. Wow! Okay. Uh, turns out using an Adam Cory, uh... Let's you charge hella shot. Oh! Pig wings! And my cows are now... Gun! There we go. Swine turrets! I would have loved the track pants, but now my, my pigs are also gun. means, instead of turret, I get, uh, instead of turret, I just get more gun, more mobile big gun. I don't even know why I pick up the berries at this point. Can you go away? Thank you. I don't actually know if there's a difference between those two. Uh, let's see. Pop that. Kill- wait, no, shoot, whatever, it's fine. There's the pupa. 
Would you cheat a protractor? I think there's too much left. Killed you. Defend my crops. No, thank you. They need no defending. I, I've spent this entire round defending them. Always energize low health. Health? No. Bees water crops. But where is bee turret? I really. I wish that was like an ultra rare upgrade, and it did nothing. It was just bad. Nothing would make me happier than just seeing the bees with tiny little guns on their backs. There we go. Got the rain cloud. At this point, I do not need land. I want for nothing. Okay, don't get ganked by the dizzy bird. Grab these. Nasal spray. We also get truffles. What do, what upgrade has this run not accrued? I ask of you. I think we're done, actually. Oh, no, not quite. Okay, more. More of those. Uh, let's see. I think we've got everything now? It's hard to tell. It's very easy to mi miss. Let's see, track pants. Well, we saw the uh, track pants go by. Atomic Orchid. What does that one do? I've heard it... I've heard it mentioned a couple of times, but I actually do not remember what Atomic Orchid does. Okay. Hello. I'm surprised there are enemies that can survive around here. Boy, yeah, we don't even need the tractor anymore. I should probably switch it out for maybe the watering one. Okay. Apple. Oh, shit. Check this out. We even get a big apple tree. Ooh, good spud rifle. Um, this is... I'm gonna have to take this into whatever boss fight. So yeah, let's go with the... Let's go with this. Grab those. I've got 13. Damn it. <laughs> it's fine. Now we're just missing one giant tree. Yeah. Chances of that spawning are kind of low, tragically. But it's okay. So what do we do now? I don't know. I think we just kind of wait. Let's fill in some gaps. There we go. I guess I might as well plant my heartbeats. Just no mercy. My big immediate problem is that I have no fertilizer. I've been spending it pretty pell-mell this entire time. Which I think is fine. Uh, let's actually just pop one of the rainstorms just because. I think it helps my trees. Okay. And we're not gonna we're not gonna get any more rose seeds at this point. Unless I've missed a region that I do not know of. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we've we've gotten all of the uh all of the bulbs. I guess in that case, let's uh just plant some heartbeats too. Get those down. And then banana seed. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get more than this. We can definitely get some extra resources just by hanging. Because, yeah, I've got truffles aplenty. All of my dudes are jacked. Uh, do we want to get another turret somewhere? Yeah, I think I'm actually going to put it here. This side is a little underrepresented. Um, 
Gosh. All right. I'm just going to I'm not going to fertilize any of these. We don't we don't have the fertilizer for it, but I've got a bunch of silver tier seeds that we have no immediate use for. So I think instead I'm just going to start slapping down all of my turrets and grape seeds just for a little bit of extra cash. Same thing with all of my my garbage. Because yeah, we have peas, we've got so much. Broccoli, yeah. We don't need any of this. I am so energized. Oh, oh, and it's itsy bitsy. Now, normally I kind of have to chase itsy bitsy. Damn. And I'm especially going to have to do that today. I, I think this is what you would call suffering from success. Ow. I actually took some damage from that. Arachnophobes beware. And look away. Oh my god, where are all those bullets coming from? I have no idea. Well, it's dead. Alright, now let's go back to farming, because there's nothing else that I can do for myself. I'm not even going to get through all of my silver tier seeds. That is wild to me. Like, I'm, I'm actively trying to get rid of some of my crops. And I can't. Uh, I should have gotten the one that gave me fertilizer for planting like with like. It would have gone a very far way. Oh, these are worth nothing without fertilizer. Oh, well. Oh, it's okay, because, yeah, what, el what else am I going to do here? we got to save the fertilizer for... Not even the last boss. Okay, keep getting the chilies down. I'm just here to make as much money as I possibly can. I think we just got several chickens off of that. Here, let's stop for a second. Because actually collecting, collecting resources is... Oh my god, how many chickens do I have? Yeah, go figure I don't have any weeds. The chickens are multiplying at an exponential rate and it's terrifying. Let's see. Wonder the Gunk series is very enjoyable. Never would have known about it. Uh, or that game never would have shown up on my radar. Thanks for showing it. Yeah, no problem. I really enjoyed that game. Oh right, I got cleats. There we go. Well, that got silly. Do we get a jackrabbit or a butcher's knife? I mean, honestly, for any of these, it doesn't matter. Let's grab the butcher's knife in case it has something useful. Wow. Okay, that's really good, actually. Grab those. Don't think I can do anything else. Alright, and sure. We are golden roses, seeds, more stuff that I know what to do with. Sprinkler head, hog, and a hummingbird. Sure. And those are actually that good. It's fine. Gamble as many times as we can. Get rose seeds, which is not helpful. That's uh, okay. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Does the sprinkler head affect the turrets on animals? 
We'll find out pretty quickly. Oh, interesting. Those those crops that I pre-planted are um I think so. It certainly feels like things are a lot more watered than they were pre previously. Right, I can't shoot him. Alright, let's just go back to planting all of my silver tier crops. And switch to a singular rainstorm. I don't think we need to worry too much about it, but... Okay. Now these are onions. Remember to actually fire things at him. What if I can fire heartbeats at him? Rice, other things. I mean, it's mainly the fruit trees that are going to do the most amount of damage. Grapes, pea seeds. Rice. Just salvo number whatever. Okay, just delete. I guess I don't even know why I'm saving seeds at this point. I should just be planting whatever, wherever. Okay. This is what I want. Then this is what I want. Then this is what I want. Okay, let's get that hyper boost. Make sure everything is this. Okay, it's still going. Plant the seeds down and do this again. All right. I think we actually pulled it off. Okay, next round. I could have probably fertilized some of them, but I don't think I could have done this and eh, I could have maybe done it a little bit better. Okay. Why am I doing this? Sunflowers. Okay. How many sunflowers do I have? Too many, I think. I knew I was holding on to these for a reason. I can't see what I'm doing. But it's fine. Okay, and there he goes. I couldn't have done... I don't think I could have done that any better. How much did I get? Only 206. And we reclaimed our spot of 277 for the week. Wow! We can't see either. This is nuts. This is why I like this game. Alright, start with the farming stat. I mean, those are pretty good. Do I want to grab... Hmm. Starting run with tilled soil is kind of nice. Heartbeats grow faster, require less fertilizer. Like, those are okay. Recharge mushroom. Gain a tractor charge. I mean, that's pretty good. Or, let's upgrade this. See what we get. Alright. Those are bad. I mean, they're not bad, bad, but I just don't generally care about them. So do these upgrades stay or restart every round? Uh, these ones here, this meta progression, this is, uh, these are permanent. Uh, so you can actually go to home improvements and take a look at how improved our home is and how many of these we've picked up, which is quite a lot, actually. We're pretty, we're pretty dang well off. And I haven't even started messing around with cats yet. Like, there's... There's stuff that I haven't even touched in this game. Because there's so much. I mean, I guess we could go buy some cats. Alright. So. Extra health per cat. 
See, this is what we want to get to. Uh, bark armor per cat, luck per cat, gun upgrades, and then there's like weird cat gods that we have. Like, there's just layers. We buy cats. Here we go. I was gonna buy a bunch of tier one cats. I'll have to start upgrading them. I just everything. There's just so much. All right, so we're on year eight. Oh, uh, do we want to switch characters now? Because we did lavender, which is solid. We did rye, who's solid. We could try time. Time is a little. Time is good. I like time. We'll probably want to drop the year if I, I do Dandelion or Robusta, just because both of them are horrifying to work with. 